Hey everyone, Ash here, and I think it's time to do Constellation Confrontation. The monarch was becoming increasingly obsessed with the stars. Tales were told of the stars deciding the fate of the kings, and many believe they can gra even grant immortality. Could there be a place for Iconia's ruler amongst the stars? The bard, we have a choice between the bard and the Peter and the Peter and priest. I think since I haven't used the Peter any of the either of the priest, I might use this. Of course, not everyone subscribed to those beliefs. The Peterans felt that immortality belonged to the Watcher alone. Someone might have to gently dissuade the monarch from such lofty pursuits. So I might go with this since I haven't used either either of the priest for anything. So so I'm going to go with this. Let's see what we got. Pay taxes and study the Watcher for two hours. The monarch had been exhibiting some rather curious behavior, behavior lately. He was meeting with dozens of citizens personally, and more and more pigeons went out every day with the royal summons tied to their legs. One of these pigeons had just reached Brother Owen. The scheduled time for the meeting, the scheduled time for his meeting with the king, was in the late afternoon. It seems that His Majesty would be coming to our church to meet me, he noted. Now, I want to do the, uh, I want to do this guy's duties before I, before I go and do anything. There should be, ah, there it is. There's a deal right here where I can pay the taxes. Pay the taxes, and now he wants to study the Watcher for two hours. I also need to bring up his, uh, uh Oh. Not what I needed. I didn't need to bring any of this up. I, I thought this was where his needs were at, but no, apparently not. Alright, now what's my deal? Wait until 4 p.m. So basically all I need to do is just let this guy just let this guy do whatever he wants to till 4 p.m. Ah crap. The monarch should be at the church soon. I should prepare for his arrival. What is he doing? Oh, he's praying. Okay. Actually, before I do that... Alright, the, the time has come. I should speak with the monarch. Well, of course, first you need to eat. Alright. Discuss the summons with the monarch. Ah, there it is. Disturbing what our monarch disturbing what our monarch wishes. Through some foolish venture into the library, the monarch has determined that the stars can grant immortality. So what does he need to do next? Ponder the monarch's request. Okay, where do I need to do that at? No, not there. No, not there either. Hmm. Ponder the monarch's requ ponder the monarch's request. Okay, so how exactly am I supposed to do that? Uh, 
it's going to be one of those it's going to be one of those uh things that are really simple and yet i have no clue how to do it the townspeople the townspeople are defined as skyward symbol in the night night great enough to the towns uh, the townspeople are to find a skyward symbol in the night great enough to befit our monarch. The stars were created by the watcher. To think that to think that they are meant to guide us specifically is to be filled with delusions of grandeur. This is clearly an affront to the watcher, but how can I serve both the watcher and the monarch when one clearly defies the other? I should look to the stars for myself tonight. Perhaps the watcher will make the path clear to me. I may wish to prepare for non per to prepare for tonight's journey. Perhaps some food and rest. Okay, I need to wait till 9 p.m. now. Now should be a good time to move out into the night and view the stars. Okay, walk to the courtyard. Ah, it's nice to see others enjoying the night sky by my monastery, even if it's at the behest of a blasphemous monarch. I wonder, I wonder what they think about his request. So I need to go in here and ask two people about this. Of course, yeah, of course they have the tendency to walk off. Isn't this great? I wonder if the monarch will reward the one who will find his star. Simpleton. Okay, what about one of these guys? I bet the monarch will give a mountain of gold to the one who finds the right star. Ah, how depressing. Though I suppose they can't be blamed for how the Watcher has made them. I should walk somewhere more secluded where I can think. Okay, let me get rid of these. Perhaps it is our nature to yearn for more in our existence. Just as those citizens yearn for riches, our monarch yearns for everlasting life and greatness. There must be a way for the monarch to realize that the Watcher me meant our lives to be lived as mortals. If I go to the monarch claiming that immort immortality isn't what the Watcher intended, I know it will be brushed aside as religious fever. I wish I could muster some proof to support this belief, but then it wouldn't really be belief, would it? More townspeople here? Oh well, I should have seen that coming. I should pray and see if I could divine some answers from the Watcher. Alright, so I need to pray for an hour. If I had access to the libraries, I could probably find notably bad monarchs who had links to great astrological symbols. Try and break down the monarch's beliefs. Maybe instead I could simply state that while those monarchs are great, where are they now? Why didn't they live forever? Overall, this sounds like a mighty fine way to get myself thrown into the pit. Alright. Now if I'm not mistaken, I need to, yep, continue praying. I should head to the town square now. It would seem the ocean is doing the opposite of calming me. Ah, the watcher's eye. Ah, the watcher's eye should be rising over the castle right about now. It has always been my favorite astrological sign. 
Even in the darkest of nights, the eye has always shown me the light of guidance.